have a wheelchair, they're confined to the house, to the walls of their or their compound. Uh, it's a big embarrassment to have a handicap in the village. And uh, wheelchairs have given them a status. Once the villagers have seen that we find value in, in these children, in the handicapped of the village, they begin to look for that value also. And slowly, the attitude of the villagers has changed. In the five years I've worked here in Santa Maria, the workshop of Transitions has been a, a very valuable resource. They provide, I would say, 95% of the, the wheelchairs and even walkers that I use up here. Bajas uno, ahora caminas y dos. Y tú tendrías que agarrar de ciegos. Eso. Vaya a pasearlo en el patio para la señora de los arcos. ¡Qué fuerte! Sí, sí. Va a ser grosso para ustedes. Sí, pues. Pero. When we meet a patient, it's not just generally to give a one piece of equipment. We provide a number of services. We may provide a medical referral. We might need to provide money for transportation to a doctor's visit. There might be a follow-up medication or exam necessary. So when a patient comes for us, usually looking for a piece of equipment, it's how we open up our case. And that usually opens up with lots of other issues, whether it be health, education, equipment, some immediate crises of living. So a lot comes out. So when we take on a client, we have to really be careful that we're going to be able to meet that array of needs. And that's why funding is so important to our, to our work, because it's, you couldn't really charge patients for those types of services. Most of our clients come from a really poor background. The, the core participants that work in the workshop um, come from all over the country, rural areas, and somehow made their way to Antigua, and we became connected. And most of the families remain in a real poverty uh, situation. So these young guys and our young lit woman, Alba, they all represent a real significant change in their family because they're going to complete their high school education. Uh, they're learning a skill and a trade that's really going to allow them to be a contributing member of the community, but also of their family. They're going to actually be able to realize their maximum salary potential, be able to earn a salary commensurate with their experience and their ability to perform a task. Being disabled is not the end of one's life. One has much to struggle for and much to give. There are many people with problems, both the normal and disabled. One can reach many people. If I can draw or paint, I can teach